How to create a horizontal 3D flipping card animation with different back and front images in Flutter. And secondly, we will also create a vertical card transform animation. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started with the build method where I have created this flip card widget and here inside we load then two images, a front image and a back image and these asset image I have created inside of this assets folder. So here I have this front image and secondly we also have this back image. And to make this work you also need to go to your pub's back yaml file and here under this flutter tag you need to include then this assets folder where you have stored your resources inside. All right, now we have loaded our images into our application and next we want to do this transform animation vertically and also horizontal. Therefore, let's go to our flip card widget that I have created here in a separate file and here we get our front and background image, whereas we display then here the front image inside of our build method. And now you can wrap your front image inside of a transform widget and with the transform property you can then define here the rotation around an angle and therefore I define here the angle. And lastly, you only need to set here a value between 0 and 1. So let's put here a different value inside. And now if I hot reload, you see that this image is shrinking. And to also include here a 3D effect, you can basically add here this set entry. And with this, our image is then here more rotated instead of this shrinking. And as more as you increase here this value, the more your image will be rotated. And of course, you can also rotate here your image around the y-axis. So we have then a horizontal rotation. And here you can also change here this value how much your image should be rotated. And finally, we want to create this flip card button. And if we click on it, then we want to do the rotation of our image. Let's start by creating a new method flip card. And we want to call this method by a controller. Therefore, we create here a new flip card controller inside of our constructor. And this flip card controller, we want to create here as a separate class. And here we also have a flip card method inside, which is then basically calling this flip card method that we have created here inside. In your main file where you create this flip card widget, you need to pass then the controller and therefore we want to initialize this controller. And lastly, we use then the controller within our elevated button that I have created here on the right side. And if we click on this button, then we want to call the method flip card from our controller. And finally, to make this flip card work, you also need to initialize here this state that we have created here inside of our controller. And therefore, we simply go here to our init state method. And here inside, we set then the state to the current state of this class. And with this, the state is now initialized that we have created in our controller. And then we can call here this flip card method that we have created here below. Next, we create in our state an animation controller that we also initialize here within our init state method, whereas you define a duration how long your animation should last, in this case 800 milliseconds. And you also need to define here this vsync, therefore you need to go here to your stateful class and add here this ticker provider state mixin. And next to initializing your animation controller, you also want to dispose your animation controller if it is not needed anymore. And now we can make use of our animation controller. Therefore, we go to our build method and here around we want to wrap then the animated builder, whereas we put here the controller inside that should be controlling our animation. And with the help of this controller, we can now exchange here this value so we can access the controller value, which is also delivering a value between zero and one. And finally, we want to start our animation. Therefore, we go first of all to our state and create here a new Boolean flag is front. And with this, we can then toggle if we show here our front image or our back image. Secondly, we go then to our flip card method. And here we every time toggle then this is front Boolean flag. And lastly, we call then on our animation controller the forward method to start our animation. And with this, if I click on this flip card button, then we have a rotation by 180 degrees. And after the rotation, our image is now reversed and therefore we want to change it. We simply go to our build method and around our image, we want to wrap another transform widget. 
And here we can then do again a rotation around the X axis. And with this, if I now hot reload, you will see that our image is now showing up again correctly. Next, while rotating the image, we want to switch then to the back image. Therefore, we add to our build method a new method is front image. And here over our angle, we can then basically determine if we want to show here the front image or the back image. So if our angle is here between 90 degrees and 270 degrees, then we show our back image. Otherwise, we will show our front image. And to make this work, we want to display then here, if it is the front image, the front image. And otherwise, we want to display here the back image. And with this, during the rotation, the back and foreground images are switched. However, as you notice, if I click on this button, there is a small flickering and this is because the background image needs to be loaded and this takes some time. Therefore, we want to go to our init state method and here inside we want to make sure that we pre-cache our images. So we load here the front image and the background image into our cache. And now after hot restarting your application, you can click again on this button and we have here a smooth animation because both images are loaded into our cache. Right now, if I click again on this button, then nothing is happening. Therefore, let's go to the flip card method. And here we also want to reverse our animation in case we are currently switching back to the front image. And with this, if I click on the flip card button, then we always have the vertical animation. And if I click here multiple times on this button, then he is always switching the animation. And if you want to prevent it, then you can simply go to your flip card method. And here inside, you basically check if we are currently animating. And if we are animating, then we don't want to flip our card again. As a result, if I click now here multiple times on this button, he will always finish first of all the animation. Right now, our front image is always animating up and then down and you can also change it. Therefore, you go to your build method and here in front of this pie, you remove then the minus. And with this, the front image will animate down and then again up. Also, you can change here the rotation axis to the Y axis. And with this, our front image will animate horizontally to the left side. And if you set in front of your pie a minus, then it will always animate horizontally first of all to the right side. Next, we want to animate our card by 360 degrees. So we always do the animation to the same side. To implement this is pretty simple. Simply go to your flip card method. And here we want to exchange our reverse and forward method with simply a method forward. As a result, we are always animating to the same size. So we have a forward animation. Only we need to fix right now that we display here the right card. Therefore, after our forward animation has completed, we want to set here an angle plus to pi. Therefore, we create here a new variable inside of our state, which is called angle plus. And secondly, we want to go to our build method and here to our angle, we want to add then the angle plus in case we display right now the front image. And with this, our card is rotating here by 360 degrees every time if we click on this button. Let's also change here to the Y axis. And you see that also the horizontal animation by 360 degrees works fine. In your main file, you can also wrap around your flip card widget a gesture detector. And every time if you tap on your card, then you call the flip card method from your controller. As a result, I can also tap here anywhere on the card to do the animation. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.